the human evolution event is causing the current chaos. The circumstances and the background of the human evolution event, which is the largest turning point since the birth of humans, is far beyond our imagination, and it's not easy to make people understand its full extent. Not only because it's not so easy, but also because people only believe what they want to believe. However, an event is afoot that far exceeds the imagination of science fiction authors such as Arthur C. Clarke, who wrote 2001, A Space Odyssey. I have to reveal its truth and the information here, which has been misunderstood, by letting you recognize the reality of human history, which has been cunningly manipulated and distorted. Simultaneously, I must clear our misconceptions about medicine, physics, and cosmology. Incidentally, I've never met the alien Ummites in person, nor witnessed any UFOs. However, this video contains much information from the Ummites obtained through telepathy. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was born with the Big Bang about 13.7 billion years ago. The solar system is located at a radius of about 27,000 light years from the center of the Milky Way, one of the galaxies in this universe and life appeared on Earth, which was born 4.6 billion years ago. The evolution of those creatures led to the appearance of apes. By the evolution of the apes, the first modern human was born around 200,000 to 300,000 years ago. On the other hand, according to Christian creationism, God created heaven and earth, including the birth of humans, in an absurdly short period, compared to the theory of evolution. However, according to the assertion of the alien Ummites, both of these theories are wrong. Quite simply, the universe, including all organisms with intelligence, is an illusion created by the crowded consciousness of organisms with intelligence, not by God, and it created the universe within the last 100,000 years, Earth years. After I have checked this assertion with more decades of gradually gaining information from the Ummites, I have concluded that it's a more reasonable comparison with enigmatic human history and science. We need to hear their arguments. Therefore, let me summarize it here. The universe and organisms with intelligence are illusions created by the crowded consciousness. There are no particles or matter there. Moreover, there is no God. What exists are non-material that world including network of the soul, which contains souls, consciousness, and, in fact, the non-material this world, illusion. Refer to the link one. In the description field. If the human body were made of matter, then a placebo, common knowledge in modern medicine, would not occur, and stress would not weaken the immune system. People are obsessed with the fundamentalist illusion that the universe and all living things, including us, exist as matter and that someone, God, must create them. However, everything like that exists because our consciousness even thinks and is aware of them.
as I have already pointed out, matter is an illusion and does not exist, and I deny the existence of gods, therefore our consciousness is the creator of everything. Now let's do a thought experiment about the existence of gods. So, let's assume that all human beings except me believe in the existence of gods. If I would disappear, gods would exist because others think so. However, if they would disappear, gods could not exist, because I do not believe in gods. Also, if there are gods who created everything, then who is the creator of those gods? And who is the creator of its creator? Repeating this question over and over will not get an answer. Moreover, it is nonsense to think that someone created everything because our non-material consciousness can't identify such a creator of its consciousness. Even if someone asserts to be able to know it, it will be just a delusion. In addition, many people use gods not only for psychological and social purposes but also for political and interest purposes. It would be another reason why people have to affirm gods. People have created the gods as the ultimate authority. Each crowded consciousness of organisms with intelligence, for example, humans, which exist in the universe, illusion, has a unique universe, illusion. And each individual has a unique universe, illusion. It means that there are countless universes, illusions. In addition, soul equals consciousness equals universe. Each universe of organisms with intelligence has a unique this world and that world. The organisms with intelligence live a lifetime in their this world. This world is a place for the soul to grow and evolve through life experience. When a soul finishes a life experience there, when an individual dies, it returns to that world and challenges the next life in this world by reincarnation. Thus, this process repeats. Incidentally, the human body is only a vehicle for the soul. A corpse without a soul is just a corpse. It is useless to try cryonics, the low temperature freezing and storage of a human corpse or severed head. Attempting to make perfect clones of the animals including the humans is also pointless. Because souls with the same memories will never return to the clones. In addition, an AI like Skynet of Terminator cannot dominate humans, organisms with intelligence, because the AI is an illusion created by the human consciousness, soul. Thus, the illusion cannot control its consciousness. The soul can be fused into a network of the soul and disappear without reincarnation. That is what happens in the human evolution event. However, it does not end there. Eventually, Ummites argues, there will be a fusion between two crowded consciousnesses, for example, between humans and Ummites. In other words, it is a fusion between two that worlds. Moreover, the repetition of this process would complete the evolution of consciousness. Refer to the link to in the description field. The problem is the method of fusion. Regarding the fusion between the crowded consciousness, Ummit says that it occurs only through conflicts of consciousness but argues that this cannot be realized by agreement through mutual respect and harmony, as I believe it's possible. Refer to the link 3. In the description field. However, there must be a consensual fusion, and such conflicts of consciousness is a theory of paranoia. I'll talk more about this fusion of that world later because it's a matter of human extinction. And Amit says that animals also have their own that world and if a human-animal hybrid could be created, the human-animal hybrid may have the soul of the humans in it. However, the Ummites are prohibited from making such hybrids. So what would happen if we created an alien-human hybrid? If it were without the fusion of that world, I guess one of the souls from either of the that world would enter. The Ummit says he can't answer its question because they have never built a hybrid. The reason for our existence in this world is not love or the pursuit of happiness everyone would agree. It is evolution. The Amit says organisms with intelligence must evolve. Again, this world is where our souls grow and evolve. Refer to the link for in the description field.
the Amit says that evolution occurs when a species is in danger of extinction. We have the same perception. The existence of today's humans and other extant species is the consequence of the extinction of many organisms in history. However, Amites are skeptical of the existence of dinosaurs. It means he argues that the will of that world created dinosaur fossils to appear in recent years to change the history of Earth. Moreover, all organisms with intelligence have an evolution event universally that humans are now facing. This event thoroughly destroys civilization and causes the mass death of organisms with intelligence. It's essential for the evolution and Ummites evolved through a similar evolution event. Everything in this world is an illusion. Incidentally, the will of that world created mysterious ancient artifacts, illusions, such as the pyramids, Mohenjo-daro, and out-of-place artifacts, Oapart. Its purpose is conceivable, for example, to inform us of the existence of aliens. Similarly, the will of that world also creates the Bible and the Dead Sea Scrolls to prophesy the apocalypse, namely, the human evolution event. To control humans, the will of that world can create archaeological material as needed. Refer to the link 5. In the description field. What is the extinction crisis in the human evolution event? It is the current surge of disasters, including the new coronavirus pandemic and the outbreak of World War III, which is used weapons for mass destruction. Deep State carries out this apocalypse. They are destroying the current civilization thoroughly and reducing the human population under the name of the New World Order, NWO. They carry out what is written in the Bible and the text of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Besides, World War I and II, various limited wars, the September 11th terrorist attacks, artificial earthquakes such as the March 11th Tohoku earthquake, weather weapon attacks, biological weapons attacks such as bacteria and viruses, and many others, which are most of the significant events in history, did not occur by chance. The deep state plans such events and the US, Israel, etc. are carrying out. They manipulate all the countries against each other, and international organizations to provoke cheating wars or conflicts. They may eliminate leaders who don't follow their orders and replace them with a body double, doubles. Importantly, however, the will of that world is what makes the deep state provoke the wars, and they have no consciousness that the will of that world controls them. They carry out the dirty role in the human evolution event, which is essential to humans. It's not accurate to merely recognize them that they are arrogant, murderous criminals, and as being evil. Incidentally, for example, although there are full facts about many false flag operations on the internet, why do most people not want to believe it? Maybe such people are not interested in it unless they're involved in it, but it must not happen for those who want a happy life and a life, which matches their values in this world. Therefore, there is no choice but to see no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. However, nobody can escape from the human evolution event. One of the facts they are covering up is the existence of aliens. The question is not whether the aliens exist, but that they've been here on Earth hiding for a long time and observing the behavior of the humans. Ummites are one of those species. 
The project SETI is just a joke to fool people. Incidentally, most strange shaped UAPs, unidentified anomalous phenomena, shown on videos in recent years are probably space shows projected into the sky using Project Blue Beam technology. Refer to the link 6. In the description field. With the human evolution event achieved, the new human will build a new civilization on the ruins of the current civilization. There must already be no small number of the new humans. The population of this new civilization will be limited to 300 to 500 million people. We tend to be driven by greed and act irresponsibly and egotistically because the current human brain is still evolving. It has led to social chaos, crime, war, and starvation. The new humans overcome such faults and must have higher public awareness and morals than the current humans. The mission of the new humans is not the pursuit of happiness, but to grow and evolve mentally and physically. Refer to the link 7. In the description field. There would be no radical changes in the appearance and abilities of the new humans. The new humans who survive the pandemic will have a stronger immune system. Notably, they would gain telepathic ability. Telepathy is communication, which doesn't require various and cumbersome language and can be transmitted instantaneously, even if its distance is a hundred million light years away. The reason is that distance of the universe, illusion, is also an illusion. Normally, the human evolution event must be accomplished without problems under the control of the will of that world. However, the invasion of the Ummites is complicating its situation. Ummites have achieved their evolution and have built an ideal of a stable society. But unexpectedly, it has led to the decline of their civilization. The population has drastically reduced and Ummites are on the verge of extinction. Originally, it was supposed to be the next evolution opportunity, but the evolution event doesn't occur no matter how much time goes by. Facing their extinction, the sense of urgency of the Ummites is at an all-time high. Thus, Ummites force us conflicts of consciousness to break through such a situation. Ummites have achieved their evolution and have built an ideal of a stable society. But unexpectedly, it has led to the decline of their civilization. The population has drastically reduced and Ummites are on the verge of extinction. Ummites want to fuse humans that world into their that world by conflicts of consciousness, using this opportunity of the human evolution event. However, someone in this world must be unable to fuse any that world, which is an illusion. Then what is something Ummites could do to realize it? An Ummit says hybrids between Ummites and humans are not born due to genetic differences. However, genetic compatibility between them could occur through human evolution. If it would happen and we could create a hybrid of the humans and some aliens, it seems to me that it would be the beginning of the fusion of that world. It means that after Ummites rule humans in this world by invasion, conflicts of consciousness, do they create a compulsory hybrid of the humans and the Ummites? If so, how do the conflicts of consciousness take place? About these questions, a Ummit says there is no need to create the hybrid. About the second question, they challenge the conflicts of consciousness against humans, without using military power, and attempt its fusion. However, if hybridization with the evolved human is possible, Ummites could achieve it by agreement with us. There is no reason to reject it because humans are accustomed to racial mixing. Ummites are white and a single race species. There may be racism. Ummites claim that in evolution events, there is a massive destruction of civilization and mass extinction of species. This is a universal element in evolutionary events. However, achieving evolution by taking over humans would not destroy civilization and cause mass extinction. If its event did not happen, it would contradict their claim. From the start, the conflicts of consciousness do not fit into the providence of the evolution events. The problem is with the Ummid's leader who is trying a barbarity on humans. In my opinion, this leader is the equivalent of the tyrant who was overthrown in the civil war of their first evolution event, 
which resulted in civilization destruction and mass deaths. If it were to happen, the Ummites would be able to achieve the evolution event they so desire again. The conflicts of consciousness do not benefit the evolution of the Ummites. In the history of Ummites, there existed a person who closely resembled Jesus Christ. Because of this, they became interested in Christ and researched him. As a result, Christ was an evolved human with telepathic ability. Christ was able to communicate with that world. Although it's not perfect, I also have telepathic ability. And as I said before, the newly evolved humans will gain telepathic ability. Ummites are trying to control my consciousness using telepathy. As a test subject, I am subject to their harsh and relentless attacks. However, I am unable to prevent them at the moment. Refer to the link 9. In the description field. Their theory is that if they could manipulate my consciousness completely, they could control the will of, R, that world. If Ummites could also manipulate the consciousness of the entire new humans, that is, if they could turn new humans into zombies, Ummites could take over our that world. It would be like spirit possession by Ummites. In other words, Ummites could fusion that world of humans. The purpose of the invasion of the Ummites is not only for their evolution but also for demonstrating their conflicts of consciousness theory. Refer to the link 10. In the description field. To counter this invasion of the Ummites, the will of, R, that world prophesied the appearance of the two messiahs in the texts of the Dead Sea Scrolls. That is to say, I am the Messiah Israel and the Messiah Aaron is Trump, the former president and the next president of the US. Refer to the link 11. In the description field. Trump, who has no telepathic ability isn't subject to such attacks, and he can use powerful military force to fight back against Ummites. Besides, this demonstration experiment of the conflicts of consciousness theory and the invasion against humans contradict the cosmic ethics code. However, Amit says, that aliens of a different species, who recognize the importance of this experiment, have been tolerating. But, I guess many of them would be silent on it. In short, nobody saves humans. Countless organisms with intelligence, aliens, inhabit the universe. Even so, the Amit says the chance for an evolution event occurring is rare. Moreover, the human evolution event and this demonstration experiment of the Ummites have been attracting the attention of aliens of various species. It means that large spectators of aliens from all over the universe are around Earth. And finally, Earth will be facing a little ice age after 2030.